longtime Motorola fan ever since the original Motorola Razr. As far as cell phones were considered, that was the pinnacle of industrial design back then. Looking at the Moto Z2 Force, I can't help but be reminded of the Razr. According to the Motorola, they made the phone thin to accommodate the new Moto Mod rather than being thin for thin sake. But what sacrifices did Motorola make to get here? What's up everyone, Matt here from the Tech Corner and today I'm going to be reviewing the phone that is probably the most fun phone I've used in a really long time, the Moto Z2 Force. So let's get into the review. The Motorola Z2 Force is a thin phone aside from the huge camera hump on the back. The camera hump has a purpose though. It's to hold on to the Moto Mods with the help of magnetic pins on the bottom of the back. The Moto Mods are the big differentiator for this phone and its little brother, the Z2 Play. Without the Moto Mods, you get an all metal phone with a five and a half inch Super AMOLED display with a 1440p resolution. It has a fast fingerprint reader that performs navigation functions if you let it. You get a five megapixel LED flash on the front and dual 12 megapixel cameras on the back. More on that later. You can quickly charge the phone with the included USB-C cable and 15 watt turbo charger. And you can use that same port if you want to use wired headphones with the adapter that they've included in the box. If the included 64 gigabytes of internal storage is not roomy enough for you, you can also add two terabytes with a micro SD card or the next biggest size you can actually buy. Unfortunately, because of the metal build, it doesn't have wireless charging out of the box. And while it comes with a water repellent nano coating, it shouldn't be submerged in water. So you know that screen I mentioned? Motorola made it shatterproof. It isn't made of glass, so it's less likely to crack. If you do happen to crack it, Motorola says they will cover you for up to four years. The downside, it scratches. Because plastic is so much softer than glass, you'll get scratches over time. Make sure you're careful with that shatterproof screen. Motorola has been using a mostly clean build of Android on their phones for the past few years now, and it really pays off. With a Snapdragon 835 processor and four gigabytes of RAM, this is the most fluid Android experience I've used since the Pixel. Motorola does tweak the experience a little bit, including Moto Actions that allows you to use gestures to open up certain applications like Twist to turn on the camera and Chopping to turn on the flashlight. Moto Display that will automatically turn on the blue light filter at night and show notifications on the lock screen. And finally, Moto Voice that will allow you to interact with your phone using your voice. The Moto Z2 Force has dual 12 megapixel cameras on the rear, one color and one black and white. Both take good pictures and are meant to work together to get better sharpness and clarity. They're good during daytime, but at night aren't that great. You can take 4K video with either of the lenses, but they aren't stabilized. As someone who constantly takes pictures of his dog, the black and white camera was really handy since there is rarely any detail on Max's face with a regular camera, but I didn't really use it aside from that. The five megapixel camera takes good selfies and the LED flash really helps brighten up the shot in dark conditions. Aside from the screen, the Z2 Force is special because it supports Moto Mods. Moto Mods allow you to augment the standard features of the Z2 Force with modular components. Is the front facing speaker not loud enough while listening to music? Check out the JBL Sound Boost 2. It adds a lot more sound and a kickstand so the speaker is upright so that you don't have to lay the phone screen down. Do you game a lot? Try the GamePad Moto Mod. I found it to be a little small for me, but the ability to use the gamepad without having to rely on a finicky wireless connection was nice. What about the 360 degree camera? It's fun. It has two 13 megapixel cameras that allow you to take 360 degree spherical photos and 4K video with four microphones for 3D sound. You can also crop them to your liking, my favorite being the tiny planet view. Those are fun, but the Moto Mods I think most people are going to buy are one of these. The first is a simple style shell that adds wireless charging to your phone. It works with PM and Qi charging pads like these awesome Surge Disk wireless chargers. The second Moto Mod is the Moto Turbo Power Pack. It adds an extra 34 90 milliamp battery that can be used in turbo mode to fast charge your phone to 100% or efficiency mode to keep your phone at 80% to maximize the use of the battery if you want to use it for more than just a quick top off. There is also another battery pack that offers wireless charging but is a smaller battery overall. Speaking of battery life, Without the extra Moto Mods, I was able to get through a full day with anywhere between four hours and 45 minutes up to six hours of screen on time. I really enjoy using the Motorola Z2 Force 
but it almost feels like it needs the Moto Mods. Without one, the phone feels really wide and sharp in the hand, and Motorola doesn't include a style shell in the box anymore. Right now, you can get a Moto Z2 Force for $720 with a free Moto InstaShare projector mod. It seems cool, but less useful than a battery, and less fun than a speaker or a 360 degree camera. That price puts it up there in cost with other 2017 flagships, some that offer standard features like waterproofing and a headphone jack that the Z2 doesn't offer even with a Moto Mod. And that doesn't include those other Moto Mods I mentioned earlier in the video. Want the JBL speaker? $80. The gamepad? Another $80. Want the style shell? $20 for a standard one and $40 for the wireless charging one. How about the 360 degree camera? $300. But Motorola doesn't even make the Moto Mod I really want, a keyboard. Different carriers and companies may have different deals going on, so make sure that you shop around, and you could also use last year's Moto Mods if you have them already, so that you can save some cash. You can also check out the Moto Z2 Play if you don't need flagship specs or a shatterproof screen. That phone also comes with a headphone jack and a bigger battery. The Moto Z2 Force is probably the most fun I've had with a phone in a long time but it's expensive. If you want all that fun, it will be an investment, but how often can you say you modded your phone's hardware? So let me know in the comments what you think of the Motorola Z2 Force. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more videos like this and enter cool giveaways like my Bluetooth speaker giveaway going on right now. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.